Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, I'm super excited, super hungry. So I'm about to just start diving in. Today, we have traveled to Canada, eh? Sorry if I just uh, insulted anybody. I wasn't trying to. But today, I made poutine. Canadian poutine, you can say crispy fries, homemade fucking amazing gravy that I showed you in my Hawaiian video, and then some vegan mozzarella. I'm so excited. Got some peach nectarine, sparkling ice to drink, and we're just gonna get started, you know? I hope you guys are doing well today. It is super rainy out. It's raining right now, very windy, and very dark out. Mmm, mm, the gravy. I don't think I've ever had poutine, let alone fries with gravy. But it is so good. It's amazing. Ooh, that's good. Mm. Very peachy. I'm pretty sure I can say that everything is good with gravy. Like, can you name one thing that's not? Mmm. Mm. I'll show you guys a close up. Mm. Wow, that fan. Hold on. Okay. So the cheese is by the brand Follow Your Heart. I've never bought the mozzarella before. Um, but it's pretty good. It's got that. I can't tell because of the gravy. Mm. I don't know, that nutty kind of vegan cheese taste to it kind of reminds me of chow in a way. I like it though. Not ooey gooey and stretches, but flavor wise, I think it's awesome. Mm -mm. Mm. And the fries, I made sure they were crispy too, just so they don't get soggy so fast. I don't mind them getting soggy, but at least, you know, start with some crunch, you know? Mm -hmm. I also made some tots for Brandon instead of um, the you know regular cut fries he has his with tots which sound good but I wanted to try the OG poutine I am impressed mm -mm -mm. and it's so easy too like the five minute gravy that I make it's, it's a joke like so easy I'll leave it down below of course if you're interested in 
where I got the recipe. It is, this is so flavorful and it has like no sugar. It tastes so sweet. So, in my, oh, update, the last video that I posted about like my anxiety and the chip mukbang, I mentioned that I went to an interview I was nervous, but I felt like I killed it. Well, got a phone call today, and your girl got the job, so. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know, just all it takes is, besides experience and, you know, practice makes perfect, got just a little confidence, you know? That's what companies want to see when... They're hiring people, you know? Be confident in what you do and be confident in what you say. So. Mm, mm, mm. So this week, um, I'm gonna chill out. Oh my gosh, what's in my eye? I'm gonna chill out, um, get the house in order, like just get the house organized, clean. This weekend, we're going to Orlando for Megacon. Super excited about that. It's gonna be my first one. He's more into the, like the gaming stuff and the nerdy stuff, and I kind of slowly got into it. But I'm super excited. It's gonna be in Orlando, so we're staying there. Um, for the weekend and then yeah she said she's gonna call me sometime next week uh, <clears throat> and uh-huh mm -hmm. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna like make a plan for myself like where do I want to be next year like how do I want to grow by this time next year I want to be out of this place and into hopefully a house that's mine buy a house anything's possible honestly um or just maybe like a nicer place if I still have to rent. And I want to be up in the company. Because she was mentioning that, you know, they're going to need people. Because the owner wants to open, I think she mentioned like 10 stores in Florida this year alone. So they're going to need, you know, managers, store managers and... Um, people like that in charge and she brought that up to me too so I'm like you know what if I work hard you know prove what I got uh, prove that I got what it takes I can definitely see myself opening up a store I'm not just starting. so in a way I'm starting from the bottom position wise not really I'm not going to be just like a regular counter girl. This place, I don't know if I mentioned in the other video. It's almost like exactly like an ice cream shop. But instead of ice cream, we're selling smoothies and smoothie bowls. So instead of just being like a counter girl, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be um, 
you know, shift leading. So that's kind of like the managers. Oh my God, Abby, get down. Sorry, I'm shaking. It's kind of like the manager's uh, right-hand man, you know, being their eyes when they're not around. So I'll be getting a little more than the, you know, average counter person. Um, but not as much as I was making as a server. But like I said, starting from the bottom, you know, I'll appreciate much more once I'm at the top. And if I like it, which I know I will, uh, then I'll be at the top within hopefully a year. Mm-hmm. I'm just very confident like I've been in this restaurant industry for 10 years started at a retirement home in the dining room when I was 14 and you learn as you go you learn new things every day you're working you make mistakes you learn from that experience and at this point I'm just like I can do this with my eyes closed like I'm, I'm just very confident in you know the work that I do Mm. Do I need more gravy? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I literally drink the gravy, like it's so good. I'm gonna go grab it. This is the gravy. Yes. Oh yes. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna pour some on here. Ooh. Mmm, now it's gonna be like hot again because of the gravy. Oh yes. Mm-mm-mm. -hmm. If you haven't tried poutine yet, you have to. Mm. Like I said, I can eat gravy with anything. But like on fries. And then with the cheese on top, like, how can you go wrong? Mmm. Mmm. So good. I was like looking on my phone for inspiration on what I want to make for dinner. And then um, on the TV was this YouTube channel, these guys that travel and try new foods and or expensive food versus cheap. And they were in Canada and they were trying um, poutine, Canadian poutine. I was like, that sounds amazing. Kill two birds with one stone. I could just travel to Canada real fast, you know? That's great. Mm. I think this was a perfect amount, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I thought it would be longer than 16 minutes. Okay. You know who I've been loving watching mukbang wise? Lena Paytas, you know, Trisha Paytas' mom. She does like cooking videos and mukbangs on her channel. And her videos are like an hour long, almost every time. But it's just so relaxing like I don't know I just love watching her cook you know it's not vegan food that'd be awesome if it was but just the kind of person she is <clears throat> and she um 
a lot of the times makes like alcoholic drinks to go along with her food it's just so good the drinks like mm. it gives me like inspiration like ideas on what i can veganize Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's gravy. It turned out so good. Mm. Is there anything you guys like to try? Is there anything you guys would like me to try next? Let me know. Mm. One of the simplest, but like one of the best dishes I've had on this channel. It's just so damn good. You have to make sure your gravy is good. If it's not, then the flavor is not going to be nearly as good. Abigail. All right. Last bite. I'm gonna make it all one bite. Mm -mm -mm. One more piece of cheese left. Okay. Yes, honey. Yes, honey. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, that's looking so gooey too. Last bite. Mmm. Mmm. That's how you eat poutine. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. All right, I'm gonna say that is it for today's video. I think it's a little bit shorter than I normally, you know, <coughs> keep them, but I was hungry and it was hella good. I also didn't want my phone to overheat, so that's another factor. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I definitely did. Today has been an awesome day, you know, got some really good news and I'm excited for this journey. I'm excited for this fresh start and to be working at a place that I'm very happy in, like around fruits and aesthetically pleasing smoothie bowls you know instead of the other stuff that I just I don't care to be around so yeah I hope you guys are having an awesome week so far I'm probably gonna get this up late tonight Ooh, it's already almost eight and it takes five million years to edit and export it's so annoying if it's not up late tonight, it'll be up. I'll schedule it for um, Tuesday morning. So I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are in this lovely world. And I will see you very soon. Uh. <clears throat> Bye.